Deus. I would like to greet the church, the ones that are visiting us, and also the ones that are connected us with us through online with the presence of the Lord. I invite you all to stand in reverence to the Word of God. We are going to read the theme for the year of 2024, Revelation chapter 3, verse 13. Revelations chapter 3, verse 13. Revelation 3.13 The word of the Lord says as follows He who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches Lord we read your word and our hearts are full and grateful for the presence of your Holy Spirit among us and now we ask you that you can bring your word to our heart, speaking to us, filling us, fulfilling all the emptiness of everybody else, anybody's needs. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Brethren, we just began one more year, and when I mentioned the team, we have a theme every year and we know and we walk based on what the Lord showed to us last year the Lord spoke to us telling us to keep the mystery of the faith many if not all went to difficult moments and some might be still walking struggles, but what sustained us, standing still, and what moved us to be here on the last day of the year is because we kept the mystery. And this year, we will conquer because we will hear the voice of the Spirit, the Spirit that has sustained us. But the mankind in our days, they don't want to listen. The, the man in general want to speak, speak up, but not listen. And the religion, mostly, it doesn't listen to the voice of the Spirit. They want to speak through the books, through the theories, through speeches and try to fill the gaps with beautiful words, texts, phrases, impact phrases, something that can surplus the voice of the Spirit. And what was made to sustain the mankind or the servant of the Lord is the voice of the Spirit. And the text says, whoever has ears, listen to the voice of the Spirit. And in no way the Spirit stopped speaking. The Spirit that has blessed us until now will keep speaking. And, and we as a church, we have a message for this world out there. Because the man that stopped listening, he, he prevents himself to receive a blessing for his life and starts to listen to other voices. He doesn't listen to anything. That is important. And what we see, when the person starts to listen to other voices, decisions are made. And we see wounded people throughout the way, as the Lord has shown tonight, people that try to have a relationship with God, but what they think that is a relationship with God all, only cause wounds and hurt them, 
people listen to all the circumstances that stop them to feeding themselves and bringing death to them. Bringing terrible situations within the household. And the Lord has shown that. And brother, the same spirit echo this message. For more than 2,000 years, there was a message being brought to to the heart of men. It's up to you to accept or not. And you are here tonight. And as I said in the beginning, our brothers here, it's, we kept the mystery of the faith. And what allows us to have victory this year will be to see the presence of the Holy Spirit in our midst. The Holy Spirit will never cease speaking, talking to every and each one. And he who has here, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Are you listening to what the Spirit is speaking to the churches? This is something that we have to answer personally and intimately. And what the Lord has for us tonight is to know that this year that is beginning, we will have some same situation of last year or maybe worse. Who knows? But we know that some someone is taking care of us. Some Someone cares about us. There is a spirit that is guiding his people through the word, through the way that conducts us to the victory. Nobody is saying that it is easy. One thing we know, the assurance of victory, is we, it's ours. We have it. Because the spirit that is speaking to us is the counselor. It's the one that in the moment of anguishing, he counsels, comforts you. In the moment of sadness, he brings joy. If you're going through struggles in your household, there's no word, there's wife or husband that can bring the solution. But the spirit, there is a spirit that comforts our souls. You're going through a struggle health, in your health or fam family problem, there's no solution, apparently, but there's a spirit that's speaking to your heart. Brethren, we only reach wherever we are. It's because the Holy Spirit has sustained us. And maybe tonight you came with some examples that I used tonight, and I say to you, tonight is a night of deliverance. And the Lord said to us tonight that people that came with circumstances, like I've mentioned, I, I'm going to read the, the gifts, but all of them, they all they want a transformation in their lives. And what makes the what pleases the Lord is that when we re repent, we regret of our sins and our flaws. And tonight we are here to celebrate with you. And you came tonight because you know that the Lord is here, the Lord speaks. And in all the, the year that we went through, and the year that we we'll go through, the Lord will still speak to us. The Holy Spirit never stops speaking, but He always talks to us. And he brings joy, consolation, peace, everything that the mankind can provide it. Why I'm using the word religion? Because I remember the text that mentioned the Pharaoh and the, the Old Testament. Pharaoh told Moses, Moses, go if you want to praise your God, go to the desert with your people, but leave the children, leave the the herd, but he says, no, not even a nail will stay behind. Brethren, today, religion, Christianity, per se, they are living a mixture of things, and many are being confused. Schools that they name themselves Christians, they change the words, but the intention is the same. And this confuses the life of the people. It tends to confuse. But the word of God for you tonight is, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you. You are going through struggle. Let the Spirit speak to you. You need the deliverance. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. 
And tonight, as I said, the night of deliverance, salvation, for, for us, the Lord, he, he don't want us to le be left behind. And no matter if you came here for the first time, second time, or no matter how many times you are visiting us, you're part of the body, like a nail. Nail is the part of the body. The important is that nobody is left behind. We're going to glorify the name of the Lord with the praise, and you're going to say to Him that you need the Holy Spirit to help you, and He's ready to rescue. The Lord shone in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, a man that think that he is being fed with something good. Interesting that the gift talks about a open window in his eyes, his house, and the, we know that the, the, the eyes are the windows of the body. And what is fitting him, it's something very oppressive something really bad spiritually but as i said tonight the service the lord want to give a blessing to this man and this is a great step and he he understands that he needs help 
he needed help. And to him was given an IV to detox him because this is talks about the, the blood of Jesus, the power of the blood of Jesus that is the only thing that is able to clean us, cleanse us within. Whatever enter through your eyes, to your mind, to your ears, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will stop, will keep you safe. The Lord showed also a lady that came to the house of the Lord, very tired. Her walk is being very difficult. She is wounded. Her feet are hurt because we know it's not easy to walk in this world. is not easy. But the Lord tonight is renewing you in this way. And He's taking you in His laps. And now He's going to put a new shoes on your feet. In, and this is the God that takes care of us. This is the God that serves, that, that helps us to serve Him perfectly. You came to the right place. The Lord showed also another lady that thinks that she is in fellowship with the Lord, but when she tried to seek this intimacy, whatever she thinks that is bringing fellowship, it's suffocating her and is hurting her. But the Lord tonight is taking away everything and anything that is hurting her, anything that you think it's connecting to the Lord, but it's causing you harm. The Lord is delivering you. God has power to deliver the mankind. We came here tonight and we spoke about three different situations. We can mention many others, but I'll say to you, you came to the right place. The Lord was waiting for us. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is will keep speaking and the message that we know is Jesus will come soon and before the text that we just read says I will come soon kept whatever you have what we have what crown is that first crown is given to the conquerors or the descendant of the king right so we praise the Lord because we're here tonight and we have an opportunity to be the children of the King and also we are conquerors. It's up to us to take possession of this blessing. I invite you to stand and let's have a word of praise to the Lord. Lord, we adore your name. We bless you as for every day. Your Holy Spirit has fed us and has renewed our lives. You are the one that knows our needs. And every day you help us, you sustain us. And according to your promises, you have spoken to your people, you have opened our eyes and ears, and we listen to your voice. We thank you for everything that you have instructed us and thank you for continuously speaking to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we praise your name. We bless you for one more service in your presence. And now we ask you that you can accept this all glorifications, all adoration that was rendered to you because you are the only one that worth all the praises. Take us in peace to our households and give us a blessing during this weekend. So tomorrow we can be here again with an open heart to praise your name. We praise you gratefully in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. If someone needs a, a, a personal assistance, a prayer, we are here at your service. And reminding everyone that tomorrow, 10.30, the Sunday school teaching, and 7.30, our regular service. To you all, peace of the Lord.